Welcome to Nirmala TV. We're streaming love. 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 To all our sisters, to all our brothers on this planet, on this planet, we're streaming love. We're streaming love. We're streaming love. We're streaming yeah. love. We're streaming love. We're streaming love. We're streaming love. We're streaming love. To all our brothers, to all our sisters on this planet. Jai Shri Mataji. You are watching Nirmala TV Season 3. Jai Shri Mataji. Welcome everyone to Nirmala TV. Jai Shumataji, Jai Shumataji, everyone in all the continents, everywhere in this world, in this universe, who is joining for this vibrational evening. Wonderful to be here again, to be with you. So it would be so nice if you can share in the chat that you are there, say hello and where you're from, because yeah. we're all together here at Nirmala TV. And we have beautiful items, but we will share with you that later. Yes. So I think we started even one or two minutes earlier than usual. Is it? Oh true? my gosh, we are. Yeah. We started a little bit earlier. So maybe like we are so not much we, <laughs> so much we waited for this show, you know. <laughs> we could not wait until the last second, you know. Yeah, that so. is actually really fun. We are we are still so much enjoying to to create this and it's it's very interesting because it goes more and more just it flows now Nira it just goes by itself uh, and that yeah. is really yeah. beautiful and uh, we are very very grateful for that yeah and and of course because we had just started so who is online watching now please share the link nirmala.tv to your country group to your city group or something with yogis that maybe more will join maybe somebody will find this nirmal tv show first time and they will enjoy or if you are watching the recording now for example <laughs> so you can share the link with with recording then maybe more yogis yeah. will be in touch yeah also also because we noticed that after the weekend so many views are there sometimes more than a thousand uh, or yeah. uh, you know so that is really really nice to know that uh, we all enjoy it so much yeah so as usual we will start from inviting shumataji to our show yes. from meditation so so let's prepare ourselves if you have shumataji's picture in your room you can put a candle and let's start meditation nice let's do that we also will put shumataji's picture on the screen So let's start from looking to Shamadaji's picture without any thoughts. Open your hands. Let's give ourselves this totally peaceful moment after the day, after the week. Now we can close your, our eyes. And let's feel where is our attention, where it is now. Can I control it? Can I keep my attention somewhere? And it will stay there. 
we can keep in heart, we can keep in any chakra, we can keep on Kundalini, we can keep in Sasrara. So let's let's choose the place and let's keep attention in one place for some moment. And now, collectively, everybody who is now watching this show, let's rise Kundalini and give ourselves Bandhan. Now let's put our hands down to mother, towards Mother Earth. Attention to Sasrara. And may vibrations flow through all the chakras, energy centers, all knots, all channels, through all our subtle system. And let's ask, please, Divine Mother, may all the tensions, may all my problems or worries may all what is stopping me from being in balance go away and let's be in meditation with attention sasrara Now, left hand, let's keep on open, and right hand, let's put on the heart. Let's keep attention in the heart, and let's ask Shamataji to come to our heart, to come to the heart of every yogi, every seeker. Shamataji. Divine Mother, we invite you tonight to this Nirmal TV show. Please give blessings to each artist, to all the topics we will touch in this show. Please come and please give us the feeling that you are watching and you are tonight with us. Now we will continue our meditation with video of Shumataji from birthday puja, birthday celebration in India, in Delhi. It's a documentary moment. Quality is not the best, but vibrations are still flowing from that video. So we can open our eyes. And we can continue meditating and watching Mother. Oui.
So now we can uh, really start. So we now we have welcomed Mother. So nice to start like that. And now we can announce what kind of program is waiting for us. That is true. We have very so, special uh, artists, actually artists that we never had yet in Nirmala TV. Some, yeah. Who are those? Some of them, yes. So we will have uh, music, of course. We will have dance, of course. Yes. We will have uh, usual quiz. So be ready with your Kahoot in your mobiles. And absolutely. We... And maybe it's nice to announce that we have an absolute surprise. And that is a song by Anandita's mummy. We have, uh, yeah, the dance is from uh, a girl that I didn't know before, Emma. So mm -hmm. that is very nice to have a new artist. <laughs> and, uh, ah, yeah, don't forget that we know the theme of tonight's quiz, and that is... Traveling. Yes, humanity is traveling. We already announced it everywhere. So maybe you already did some research, so be ready for the quiz. And we have beautiful paintings of the Adi Shakti accompanied with music. Naya, many things. We can just start mm -hmm. maybe with the first yeah. item. So first item will be from Vienna. Yes. And it will be like full of vibrations of children, of Ganeshas from yes. Vienna. Yes, yes, yes. And it is yes. very nice to, to say that these are the children of the Vienna kindergarten and I know that they are all sitting now ready with the mummies and daddies to watch. Waiting. Their song. Really? They're waiting for it. Yes, they're waiting yeah. for it. So it hello me? everyone. Hello. hello children <laughs> and mummies and daddies from Vienna. Nice and wonderful song you made. So let's share it with everyone. Well, the premier. birthday song of the Vienna kindergarten. Children. Down to 
children so nice <laughs> so sweet well done beautifully sung and all these beautiful presents that you gave to schmutz you see the heart and did you see that cake yeah <laughs> the size of the cake i i, I lost my voice when I yeah, saw it, because you saw, and it was in the shape of a butterfly, and I think it was completely made of chocolate. Oh, maybe. Oy, so that looked very mm. nice. So thank you so, so much, and so love your song, With your song, officially, we're starting celebration of Shimadaji's hundredth birthday. That is true. That is true. We really start like that for at least here, <laughs> and that yeah, is nice. Yeah, so thank you for that lovely little Kaneshas from Vienna. Thank you for sending us this. And right. thank you for making it. Okay, but maybe you know, where is this kindergarten? Is it in, in this main ashram? Uh, it is like, or it is in the city center? Where it is? Do you know something about this kindergarten? Um, I think it is in the main ashram still. And actually, uh, Soma, Soma Kuna, who's now wrote a message in the chat, she was the auntie who was in a little bit in charge, I think, of making it. And she sent it and she contacted us about it. So well done. And thank you so much. And it is a nice feeling to know that you were all sitting there together and uh, watching it. And uh, nice. much love. Dear children, yes. um, please make more songs for next time. And, and send to us. Oh, yes. yes. Send to us. Yes. Please. And actually, thank you. Thank you, everyone who is writing some messages. We don't feel lonely here. So we have from Finland, as we saw, right? We, we have from Sweden, somebody's watching. And India. Why don't you sleep in India? It's very late. But Is it? What right? is it? What time is it now in India? Would it's be like, nice to know. Like, it's really like about midnight already or more, I guess. Mm, okay. I don't know. Right. What is the time in India? And what else we have? It's, Romania. Tin, mm. tin, tin, tin. And Barcelona, Spain. And wow. again, Spain and Turkey. Thank you for hearts from Turkey. And we have many more who will write now. Yes? yes, of course. Now you all have to write. So thank you for that. And let's go on. Oh. 12.50, so it's like uh, night. at night, Proper I night. Yeah, But Almost. Friday night, Friday yeah. night. Night is young, actually. Night is young. <laughs> yeah. night is yes, young. Yes, and yes. the night is even younger here, so we're definitely... Oh, of course, now it's in Nirmal Prash. So there is a new place, this beautiful 
ashram, a beautiful house that was created, that was made for mother. And she was also there. She stayed there once. And anyway, it's a beautiful place to visit once in your life, at least. So Thank let's you. continue, no? Now from the birthday celebration, we can go to a little bit like different because not usual uh, mm -hmm. to celebrate Navaratri in the spring, you can say in this time. But mm -hmm. actually in India, many, many centuries, people worship Devi also in springtime. Okay. So because of that, we will, let's pay attention to Devi uh, and uh, let's uh, listen the song of, John and Bish... Uh, okay. So it's actually Bish White, Bish White who Please. made the music and John was the one who painted these beautiful paintings of Sri Adi Shakti. And actually hmm. they are both from UK. Ah, really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you know all the artists and you can pronounce the names. Bravo. <laughs> Let's see what, what is this song about. At least I can do something. <laughs> do you... Bravo, it means very good. <laughs> okay, let's enjoy the beautiful paintings and the music of the brothers from UK. Ya Devi Sarvabhuteshu Matru Rupena Sastita Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Matru Rupena Sastita Namasta Sve Namasta Sve Namasta Sve Namo Namaha Namasta Sve Namasta Sve Namasta Sve Namo Namaha Oh, 
sudden end <laughs> we didn't know that um before we go on i need to tell you something because we got a serious request you now coming in so um and that is if we need to make a bandhan here at nirmana tv for a yogi i will just read it to you dear brothers and sisters our brother heinrich lanevsky is now in a hospital in england he is in a serious conditioning and he needs vibrational help. I ask all of you to direct your attention to Henry. So please let us all give a collective bandan to our brother Heinrich, who is in hospital somewhere in England. May mother protect him. Okay. Okay. So, so very nice that you wrote about this, the situation. Actually, I know him, and he, he is uh -huh. my brother. Actually, I when I came to Sahaja Yoga, he was my the first and the only brother who took care of me. <laughs> oh, so nice! Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice personal touch to this request for help and we send him all our love and our prayers for him so this can also be done and please ask anything that we can do collectively yeah with yeah. all the Saji yogis around the world and we know that so many yogis around the world now because of shumadaji's birthday celebration we going into tours doing programs and and you you got information about U.S. or South American tours. What, what, what do you know about these tours? I don't know so much about these tours. I mean, we gave all the information already in uh, previous shows. All the information is on our websites. And of course, they made cr beautiful websites with all the information. But there was uh, a Belgian Yogini who became the special reporter for Nimala TV 
in uh, in Kerala, in I believe it's that tour, and they're doing this wonderful trip on a boat, and they're sharing it with us, and they're also sharing their personal experiences. So, so thank let's you, see. Anapurna from Belgium, for making this reportage. Yeah, fresh report, especially for Nirmal TV. Nice. <laughs> it will Now we are right now in the Kerala and uh, we just finished to have a wonderful little puja on a boat. My first puja on the boat. And uh, it's just amazing the surprises and the adventure that we are going here, that we had here. Uh, just for the little story, I was asking uh, to the local people, which are really, really few, and they told me that. Uh, the first time Shimataji came, they did a little puja as well on a boat uh, where it was no filming and maybe I will get a picture from it. So uh, I just wanted to share this and, and share the joy that we, we are having here. We are like uh, 25 countries here uh, representing a lot of music, a lot of musicians. Wonderful time. I die for now. Uh, here, I just show you. We are not uh, in the city actually, but but we are on a boat uh, on a like kind of lake, huge lake, which is uh, going to the sea, and we are going to sleep on the boat today. And tomorrow we go back on our bus for another destination. How is the tour so far? I enjoy it very much. I joined your color tour in Dehradun. So uh, we, the first part was in north of India. Uh, we had many programs, public programs, and uh, we performed many concerts. They were very successful, especially in the high schools. Um, young people love the programs, especially the Kabbalis. They were always dancing in ecstasy like a such disco and uh, we had a lot of joy and fun we also saw very beautiful places like Amritsa, the golden temple and uh, we were in Rajasthan 
beautiful places I've not seen before. And now we are already in South India, continuing our tour. At the moment we are in Kerala. Uh, today we uh, entered a boat, a very strong vibration from the boat, very interesting and very nice. And uh, then afterwards we opened all the flowers and the vibrated water to the river. And as you can maybe see in the back, there are many boats like this. Because um, the moment we are uh, having a boat trip, the waters of the Canada. And it's very famous and very enjoyable. So, the Canada tour is actually a mixture between um, some enjoyment in the way that we see the faces, uh, we enjoy our time together as a team, but at the same time also we offer our time to do party forums and uh, sometimes very intense because we move nearly every day, but it keeps us young and uh, we are happy. So next time we go to see and uh, see you. Ciao. fun what a joy i mean blasting vibrations <laughs> nice huh somehow again there's your sound is not so good i believe oh we have a guest hello yeah i have a guest hello i said, I said yeah. hi, hi. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you, you know i feel really jealous when i see all this fun kind of too cold, too much of snow, and when I see this, lots of energy and and sun and and collective, big, huge collective every day, jealous, like white yeah. jealous. Yeah, that that is actually our home, right? That is that is the place yeah. where we belong, where we truly belong. So yeah, I also actually, feel that okay, okay. in my but, heart. About this, a little bit like uh, how it is in Holland now, because you are in Holland. Is it snowing or not? Ach, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> because mean, we cannot even go out from home. It's so much of snow. It's like uh, spring. Wow. Where are you? <laughs> wow. Wow. I yeah. mean, that is a long time you have that snow. Yeah. But, but okay. I tell you, it's still better than what we have here, which is wet snow. And it's very dark and rainy. And that's even worse because it's wet. Okay. But, but anyway. I promise. I, I I will say a mantra. In few weeks, you will have proper blooms everywhere yes. in your that city. That is good. Yeah. That is good because that is the quality of the Netherlands to have the flower fields that the tulips are coming back up. And that time in April, I mean, is the best time to come here. So you know. So you know what, Ada? We need a reportage. Oh my especially from, from <laughs> tubes fields. <laughs> I, I don't know if it can already be done for next time, beginning April, but uh, we will work on it. Okay, I will take that as, as a serious request. And I will remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure okay, you so, do. I'm sure you do. So, Let's so go now on with going, the show. Yes, now, because otherwise we're, we're only classical going. performance, which is actually... Perfect, amazing. And Ada, when she announced, she said, like, I didn't know this artist. So Ada didn't know. So people, if you know around somebody who Ada doesn't know, send the video to Nirmal TV, okay? Because Please. we need more and more Please. artists. Yeah, because what is really nice is that she's a beautiful Indian uh, dancer and she lives in Canada, right? So, and then we find out she has all this amazing Facebook page with beautiful dances. So it's fantastic to know a bit more of this artist. And we want to share that with you. And her name is Hema Kukreya. And uh, she's singing, oh, she's not singing, she's dancing this beautiful, she calls it Sahaj dance. And she will also explain herself uh, about the dance. So I enjoy and, and and her own solo performance, this piece will be from the 
uh, her evening performance with dance and and, and cultural program. Okay. Uh, two hours, two hours performance. She was like performing so long. So this is only a small piece, but from the beginning to the end, one performance we, we can enjoy mm. tonight. Very professionally and very beautifully done. So okay. let's enjoy. I was searching for Brahma, but I met the whole universe when I came to you, Divine Mother. Now I know Sri Ram is in my right heart, and Sri Krishna is in my throat. I know about all of them within me. All my penance became vibrations when I came to you, Divine Mother. I understood the difference between good and bad. There was no cool breeze in my hands when I was doing futile religious activities. I was ignorant and sleeping. You woke me up and stabilized me in my meditation. Here is my offering to you to show you my gratitude. Kabir.
Saturday the 11th, there will be a 100th birthday celebration concert in Andorra with Alexander on sitar, Sergei on tabla, and dance of Ananya. They are asking for vibrational support for this beautiful concert. And on Sunday the 12th, there is the International Women's Day event of UNESCO BMW, UNESCO Body, Mind and Wellness Club. A celebration of the role of women in society and supporting women empowerment and equality. By Srimatati's grace, there was a Sahaj scientific presentation at the foundation course at the MGM Medical College at Mumbai. 150 medical students got their self-realization. Boratin is looking for staff members. If you wish to enjoy the innocence of children, the beautiful surrounding and work for Srimadji's vision, then come and join the team of Spring 2023. It starts on March the 25th until June the 17th. You can find the job application form on our website and also the email address. There is a wave of vibrations around the world with the 21 days of meditation. The meditation sessions are very successful with many viewers and are held in seven different languages in which the French speaking countries work together as well as the German speaking countries. There is a Hindi course, a Chinese course and even a seven day course in Arabic. A lot of yogis are working hard and give all their love with live meditations and music. Um, which will be covered within the, the 21 days. And through those techniques of clearing, it then helps the Kundalini energy to rise higher. But naturally, the Kundalini energy, when you meditate, it is clearing those energy centers. So when you use your attention, so say, for example, you know, you can't use your right hand, um, you could just place your attention on your heart and uh, guide your attention to those energy centers using your attention. It is so impressive to see all these programs in so many languages on their YouTube channel, freemeditation.org. Sahaj Times. Leila and Fabrizio have started up a Sahaj podcast. It's called Sahaj Times. Until now, there have been two episodes. In the first one, Leila and Fabrizio discuss about Sahaj schools, growing up in Sahaja Yoga as realized souls, and proper parenting in Sahaja Yoga. In 10 years, 50% of you won't be here in Sahaja Yoga anymore. Boom. Like, literally. Boom, you know? Drop the bomb. We all look at each other as to say, yeah, no, not possible. This is, this is not real. And in fact, it was wrong. Because seventy percent is not here now. <laughs> Welcome everyone, welcome to Sahaj Times podcast, the first Sahaj podcast, I think. So this is the new face of Sahaj memes and it's just a podcast and it's Sahaj. So it's like, we're gonna talk about uh, Sahaj topics uh, that take place in every conversation that we all have, but we'll just make them public. But sometimes we are afraid to say. <laughs> <laughs> I like always. I'm so and in the second one, they talked about real life experiences with mother, with their guests, Auntie Catherine and Uncle Engelbert. And she mother, she was sitting with her feet turned out of the car, but stayed in the car. 
and we were kneeing in front of her and serving her McDonald's. What is this? And this is a Big Mac. And this is good. <laughs> so, you know, you have to, it's really that contrast of, you know, like 20 minutes mm. before we were kind of singing the Arti to Sri mm. Mahakali and then, and then a complete change of scenery. So, welcome everyone to the second episode of Sahaj Times podcast. My name is Lele. I'm the host of this podcast, but I'm not alone because the real, the real host of this podcast is always here with me. And finally, today we can see him actually. The one and only Fabrizio Trezza. How are you, Fabrizio? <laughs> Ciao Lele, not hiding behind the microphone this time in, in full view. Uh... Both episodes are great to listen to and we are waiting for the next one. The One Song Project of Anandita. 100 years birthday song, the global birthday gift from all Sahaja Yogis from around the world will be released on digital platforms on the 18th of March so that all countries can download and make it ready and together will be offered from the global Sangha at your respective collectives at the divine lotus feet of our mother. Then, Ma Vishwa ka hua udhar, that Shimadaji, because of your birth, the world has been saved. Because of your love, because of your blessings, all of us, the true seekers, have got our self-realization. So again, that gratefulness in the voice. So saal huye dharti me padhare shatvarsh huye dharti ko savare ma vishwa ka hua udhar Ma teri kripa se khoji hua hai I hope you got it. Now we will all sing together the first part, okay? Then we go to the next part. But I do have to say again that we have to sing this with our hearts open. We have to sing this with love, with joy. It's a celebration song, okay? So, we are one, sing with intention, we are one, we are all mother's children, this is the song for the nations, this is the song for love, it is to make us united into a single heart happy 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 birthday to you happy 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 birthday to you what a fantastic project of our sister anandita and how wonderful that so many yogis participated this was the news back to the program you are watching Nirmala TV! Yeah, so quite a lot of projects huh? again. So nice. Very nice. Yes. Actually, we have nice. some breaking news because also today Tim sent us a message, Tim Bruce, and that is about the audiobook on the Meta Modern Era that will be released on the 22nd of March and available on all digital platforms. Um, so, of course, Tim narrated that book of Shramatiti. And in our next show, we will share some more news, but we will already uh, put the links on this audiobook on our website. So you can already find it from on tomorrow. Nice, nice, nice news. Breaking news. Somebody has some more breaking news? Please send us. <laughs> you can still share it in the chat and then we can... Uh, and everybody can read it. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There, you're breaking news in the chat. <laughs> Uh -huh. So, so uh, also about uh, Ananda, you know that she was traveling in many countries and tours are not only in India. In our okay. show, we had a report from, from India, from Kerala, but there are many, many events. So, so we are waiting for, for some videos or something. Please, please send us. But if you want to share your performance, your message or something, it's very easy to, to send and to register yourself, like donate so when you go to website.nirmala.tv, you just will see that donate your art or, or your science or something, and you just press, and you will be in, in the application form. You just write, 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 and we get, and we show. Everybody can see. Everybody can feel. So do you get the point? Everyone who is able to share some video please send us because this nirmal tv show is because of yogis who donate their art or or, or ideas it will be interesting to see how many great such artists are still there that we don't know of <laughs> yes yes no? which other other should know no, more you don't more. know <laughs> <laughs> don't tease me all the time <laughs> so, oh, no, no, no. all right next artist is someone you know yeah someone we all of us know we in the Sahad know. world so it is uh, most respected uh, teacher composer and vocalist Subramanian from India mm -hmm. from Hyderabad but now I know that he is traveling with with all the tours and and uh, performing also. So, but he made uh, a new song specially for Shimadaji's birthday and uh, with other yogis who helps with instruments, with, with video. And, uh, and yeah, this is a present and this is a premiere from India for nice. Shimadaji's birthday. That's beautiful. Subramanya. <laughs> धूमधाम से मनाएंगे माँ का जन्म से मनाएंगे धूमधाम से मनाएंगे माँ का जन्म से मनाएंगे सहस्रार स्वामी ने श्री निर्मल माँ का जन्म दिन मनाएंगे सहस्रार स्वामी ने श्री निर्मल माँ का जन्म दिन मनाएंगे गाएंगे नाचेंगे निर्मल माँ को रिजाएंगे गाएंगे नाचेंगे निर्मल माँ को रिजाएंगे धूमधाम से मनाएंगे माँ का जन्म दिन मनाएंगे धूमधाम से मनाएंगे माँ का जन्म दिन मनाएंगे वाड़ा शहर में साल वे परिवार में चिंदवाड़ा शहर में साल वे परिवार में एक देव कन्या का उन्नीस सौ तेईस में जन्म हुआ आदिशक्ति की इस भूमि पर मानव रूप में जन्म हुआ आदिशक्ति की इस भूमि पर मानव रूप में जन्म हुआ मानव के उत्थान और जग कल्याण के लिए निर्मल माँ का जन्म हुआ निर्मल माँ का जन्म हुआ निर्मल माँ का जन्म हुआ धूमधाम से मनाएंगे माँ का जन्म दिन मनाएंगे धूमधाम से मनाएंगे माँ का जन्म दिन मनाएंगे
हरिक मानव के शक्ति सदियों से सोई हुई हरिक मानव के शक्ति सदियों से सोई हुई कुंडलिनी शक्ति को श्री माने जगा दिया भक्तों को नया जन्म देकर सहज योगी बना दिया भक्तों को नया जन्म देकर सहज योगी बना दिया आज का ये मंगलमय दिन कलयुग में है पावन दिन निर्मल माँ का जन्म हुआ निर्मल माँ का जन्म हुआ निर्मल माँ का जन्म हुआ धूम धाम से मनाएंगे माँ का जन्म दिन मनाएंगे धूम धाम से मनाएंगे माँ का जन्म दिन मनाएंगे सहजी का कर्तव्य है श्री माँ को खुश रखना हर सहजी का कर्तव्य है श्री माँ को खुश रखना बात ये सरल बड़ी प्रचार प्रसार करते जाना परम चैतन्य से सबको जोड़ते जाना परम चैतन्य से सबको जोड़ते जाना निर्मल माँ का सपना को पूरा करना है निर्मल माँ का जन्म हुआ निर्मल माँ का जन्म हुआ निर्मल माँ का जन्म हुआ धूम धाम से मनाएंगे माँ का जन्म दिन मनाएंगे धूम धाम से मनाएंगे माँ का जन्म दिन मनाएंगे सहस्रार स्वामी श्री निर्मल माँ का जन्म दिन मनाएंगे सहस्रार स्वामी श्री निर्मल माँ का जन्म दिन मनाएंगे गाएंगे नाचेंगे निर्मल माँ को जाएंगे गाएंगे नाचेंगे निर्मल माँ को जाएंगे धूम धाम से मनाएंगे माँ का जन्म दिन मनाएंगे धूम धाम से मनाएंगे माँ का जन्म दिन मनाएंगे माँ का जन्म दिन मनाएंगे माँ का जन्म दिन मनाएंगे Hi, Purna. How wonderful you are here with us at Nirmala TV to talk about yeah, the wonderful projects that are going on. Hi, Ada. I'm very happy to be here with you. And it's true there is lots of going on. And so it's a great joy to actually share it. So I would like to start with the main happening of this year, um, which we are preparing for the 100 years a celebration. Uh, which is the concert of the Divine Mother that we are having here in Italy, but it is also somehow the uh, celebration of the foundation that of um, Cabella, of the Saja Yoga World Foundation, to the world, because basically we are going to invite people to this event that mm. sees a big orchestra, sees beautiful artists, and tells, narrates uh, uh, the story of Shimataji's life through music, poetry, storytelling, and um, to celebrate not only a life, but to celebrate the gift that she gave to humanity, which is the opening of Sadrara, of course, mm -hmm. told by her own voice and uh, hopefully beautifully displayed, not only through music and storytelling, but also with visual arts, so that audience can have a full-on immersion in the experience in itself. Wow, that sounds amazing. So when will that take place? 
Yes, this will take place in the summer in Cabela to start with during the Culture of the Spirit Festival, which will happen on the 15th and 16th of July, mm -hmm. immediately after our usual uh, journey with the Nirmal Arts Academy that starts after Guru Puja, so from the 4th until the 14th of July. And then we are hoping in between the Academy and the festival to also have some events in Genova, in the park of Genova Nervi or wherever villas will find that as uh, you know the right place to host something uh, such an event and also milano uh, so we are trying to offer it to the outside world so not only to invite people to our festival but to move how to celebrate our divine mother that's for sure so wonderful indeed so it starts at the culture of the spirit festival and then it will be live streamed so everybody can see it and then it will be on tour a little bit through Italy. So how many yogis are involved uh, in this project? So basically, how many yogis? A lot. Uh, let's say that only the orchestra, might, they won't be all yogis, there are at least 30, 40 people. And then there is all the other part of the yogis, musicians, singers, and um, as I said, visual artists, also technical staff, because you need a lot of technical yeah. staff as well. So they will be involved at least another 40 people. So, wow. yes, it's quite it's quite a big machine, let's say. That yes, beautiful. Started. I mean, an event like the 100 years needs to be grand and we need to make it very relevant for the world. Who are we celebrating here? So it's very important. Yeah. Very beautiful. And it's also possible to do this in Italy, right? To really mention Shamatsuchi and who she is and her importance. That's not in every country possible, uh, but in Italy it is. Yeah, you're very right. We are very lucky uh, with this. Actually, all the campaign that is being developed here is bringing to the point where we can declare uh, without any doubt that Sri Mataji is the Divine Mother that came on this earth as the Holy Ghost. Basically, we are we are bringing uh, the, the audience to that. that they were developed like three steps, you know, like, uh, you know, of, of um, uh, the knowledge of mother as uh, the great mother, as uh, a historical figure, as a divine mother on this earth. So we are yeah. aiming to, uh, to give them that experience. Wonderful. And hopefully we can also, maybe this is the first step and many more will follow. That would be very... I hope so, Ada. I really hope so. Yeah, I hope so too. It is <laughs> getting time that everybody hears and feels what Shamanzi's message actually is. So you were also mentioning already the Art Academy. Um, yes. What is going on there this summer? Yes, I mean, uh, we started already last year to get full on with the Academy, but this year is going to be even bigger. We are coming back to our usual numbers, I hope. And as you know, it's a great period of the summer immediately after the Guru Puja mm. to exploit your talents, to know different artists, to know people and engage in different projects. Um, and it's going to be from the 4th until the 14th of July, so with our usual, hopefully, 40 courses, including yeah. music, arts and dance and theatre, especially this year, we'll have different kind of subjects in theatre. Let us always remember that Theatre of Eternal Values is the base of the Academy of the Culture of the Spirit. And Sri Mataji's company, theatre company that she created, she desired to spread and to bring values through the arts. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, uh, Theatre of Eternal Valleys will be present strongly, I guess, uh, also this academy, even more with different subjects regarding. I'm re sorry, maybe I just go a step forward and I would like to tell you also <laughs> that Theatre of Eternal Valleys bringing around Shakespeare's Women is our last production, wow. a beautiful production from America that is starting uh, as well very soon. Mm. Maybe not this year, they're trying something for the autumn, but they will start very, very soon. Meanwhile, we still bring 
bring along Shakespeare's women um, around Europe and also Canada. We are working for Canada for the autumn. And um, it, it is a few years that we are bringing along Shakespeare's women. But it is so welcome by universities, schools, and actually, let's say, normal audience that uh, we decide still to move along and to uh, this year really honor Shimataji's cultural legacy through that because we're talking about values, values that our mother shared with us, taught us about the role of women in this society and how important it is. And this is our journey. We're doing through the Shakespearean uh, character in the female archetype of Shakespeare. And through his journey also, humanity does his journey in understanding what the role of women is. And we do it through, of course, uh, the knowledge that our mother has to us. So Absolutely. And how fitting it is to bring this message in this year, the 100th birthday celebrations, to really uh, emphasis on her message and the role of women in society is now more relevant than, than ever. So if there are still some countries who have not had Shakespeare's women, is it still possible for them to contact you? Absolutely. Please do contact me because we are already working with some um, yogis and yoginis uh, to build up. And actually, you don't need uh, uh, an army of hundreds people to work on these things but even if there are few people like three or four people interested in bringing it in their own city in their own country we can work we, we have One. all the tools uh, we just need people who like to share it and uh, have the yeah. desire to bring along this legacy wonderful and it is maybe a nice idea to uh, instead of only music which is of course also a beautiful channel to to feel the vibrations and to bring the message of sahaja yoga but theater can also be a way to approach to another audience maybe who also are interested but would not per se go to a concert with indian music so that is definitely yes, an interesting um, approach you're very right because we always have think that the humanities done a different kind of niche and we have to try to appeal to all of them mm -hmm. and there is a good part and it's very much interested in the poetry in the literature in theater and uh, they appreciate this instrument and uh, so we are appealing to them also because it actually appeals very much to students oh really so, Yes, I mean, university are really interested in the subject so much that the last, uh, I mean, news that we had, we had um, a meeting with some university professors uh, in Verona mm. that cannot bring the play as such now in May. They would like it for the autumn, but they asked us to present a project for a workshop to do with mm. them. So it's also a good channel for young people uh, or students to get into. Um, so yeah, absolutely. Very it's very good to reach out to young people and it's beautiful to hear that they are so much interested in, uh, in the message that Tef can bring. So thank you very much for this, uh, all the things that you told us, Purna, and uh, for sure we will hear more next time. Absolutely. Thank you, Ada. Thank you very oh, much. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. You are watching Nirmala TV. And now, and now, after this intensive interview, Ada, are you okay? Are you here? We are going no, I'm to... here, I'm here. I just uh, thought, okay, I bring an object into ah, the screen. You, uh -huh. want, you want to be in the top list, yeah? You want to be in this <laughs> board, yeah? <laughs> oh, I will never be able to do this because the quiz is above my league. <laughs> okay, but so we, we can call. Always try. We, yeah, you, you, we can try always. And all the yogis, I, actually, I heard that they learn many things from the quiz. So it is like the way of educating yourself. So, so please join everyone. Don't be lazy. Take your phones and uh, see there is a pin. You need to do like you can have Kahoot app, but also you can do online. 
the need to install anything. So you just put the pin and be in the game. And where is the super pooper host of quiz? Ting, ah, ting, ting, ting. there he is. Yes, <laughs> he appeared. Well, hello there. Okay. No. Now we can hear you. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. There we, go. we can hear you. You're Excellent. all there, and the floor is yours. Perfect. Can't wait. All right. I'll take it from here. Great. So, Great. ladies and gentlemen, here we go for the usual Sarge quiz of tonight. I hope you have your mobile phone, your desktop ready. I've done my research, and I hope you've done yours too. So we'll head on straight into the game lobby. As you know, put in a game bin. We got nine nine one four seven nine three we'll give it a moment until we have a good amount of players inside the game and we'll head straight on into the theme of the evening now to give you a bit of a tip of an iceberg of what we'll be doing this evening the theme is shamataji's travels the past four decades of her life so from uh, around 1970 all the way up until 2011 we're looking at both particular and a general trends in our travels not trying to of course understand or analyze but rather see the frequencies and occurrences of certain events happening and see if there's something beautiful that we can fathom and perhaps surmise from all these travels across the globe so I've put my speaking mode on and I will also look back to my audience to see if no, they have their phone. Yes, they have their phone ready. So you ready to go? Uh-huh. Very good. Very good. No, not quite yet. Oh, no. Yeah, it's just it, it's just two people. It's not a big audience. You don't have to put this, this, <laughs> this view on, <laughs> Carlos. Thank you, though. In any case, it looks like we have quite... Actually, how many people do we even have in? It doesn't show the numbers this time around. Oh, well, as usual, we have 10 questions and we will head straight on into it. I'm sure we've given people enough time. So here we go. As you know, speed is of the essence as a mantra I always say. So this time around, we will start easy and get more difficult as usual. First question, ladies and gentlemen, when did Shimanaji move to England with Sir C.P.? Was it in 1974, 1975, 1976, or 1977? These are your four options starting the night. And you will see that there will be lots of other interesting answers coming through. And even though you may not know the right answer to this question, if you tap fast enough, and if you tap on the right block, you know, there's a 25% chance going on here, you'll get the at 74. That's when Sir CP was given the post on the International Maritime Organization of the UN, whose branch was in London. Let's see our leaderboard for the first five. On top, we have HP followed by Hazal Vainamonen. Nice to see you again, representing Finland. Fourth, Prunzis LT. And fifth, at nearly 123MU. Let's head on to the next question. Here's a puzzle, slightly different than usual. Put in order the first countries that Shimataji visited in Europe in the early 80s. So these are all European countries, and you have to put them in order of Shimataji's visits to these specific places. So all you got to do on your phone or your browser is kind of drag them into the order. Number one, of course, being the first continental European country Shimataji visited, and then thereafter. To perhaps jog your memory, the first country was, I believe, just in 
visited in about 80, 81 or 82. So that's the range we're looking at. If you've studied your Amruta page, gone into the chronological appearances of Sri Mataji's lectures, pujas and public programs, perhaps you have found the right information at hand. I, of course, urge you to not look on another tab right now because that will take away your time. In any case, let's see if anybody got this one right. So we had one person correct. Good on you, one person. Let's see who this was. In any case, the right order was France, Switzerland, Italy, and Germany. France, I believe, the 80s, or was it 81, followed by Switzerland. Italy was definitely 81, and Germany also then later on. So let's see the leaderboard. Who was this mysterious one person? Wow, Hazal, that is a big congratulations to you. So, of course, these questions will be interesting, but they won't all be that difficult. Heading on to question number three. Here we go, ladies and gents. In which year did Shimachi visit Australia the first time for Saj Yoga? Was this 1980, 1981, 1982, or 1983? So I can hear the cogs whirring in the collective consciousness, people searching for right answers to this question and seeing what they can truly dig. Now, the interesting tidbit of information to give at this point would be where Shumatiji visited during her first time in Australia. That I didn't find out, but I'm guessing most likely Sydney or its whereabouts. Of course, Shumatiji traveled far before, uh, perhaps to many countries, because her husband was part of the Navy. Oh, great, 81. Hey, good job, everyone. I'll get back to that story later on. Let's see the leaderboard. So here we go, nearly one, two, three, MU taking first spot, followed by Vanamonin, congratulations, Kalipriya, R108, and Hazal. Let's head on to question number four, three, I forgot at this point already, four, excellent, here we go. This is a multi-select option. In which year did Shimachi visit the US for the first time for Sahaja Yoga practices? So the reason I'm, I'm putting Sahaja Yoga there is because Shimachi visited um, quite a few of these countries, not in the role of propagating Saj Yoga, but perhaps in the role of holidays, as well as in the role of helping out her husband, wherever she was, or wherever he was, pardon me, visiting him at a given point in time. So it's actually fascinating to know that Shumarji traveled the globe extensively, even before 1970. The details on that is unknown, but it'll be fascinating to learn more about it, if and when a compendium of some parts is put together in case we have nearly all the answers in but let's see we've got a few more and here we go you got your last few seconds in and let's see the right answer the right answer ladies and gents was 72 not 79, not 81 or 84. Uh, it's a fascinating point because um, it was actually one of the first Western countries that Shumataji went to spread Saj Yoga, but there was no traction whatsoever during her visit to the US, which she mentions, which she mentions pardon me, in a later speech. But yes, it was 72, the first visit. So let's see the leaderboard. Kalipriya on top, followed by Nuri 1, 2... <laughs> One, two, three, MU, Vanimunin, R108, and Hazar. So we have a strong five on the board. Let's head on to the fifth question. So which country, according to Shumaraji, which country could either be a holy land or a hell land? This is a direct extraction from a speech, and I will give you a hint, 85. Was it Israel? Australia, Holland, or France. So one of these countries was described by her as having these two potential options. Perhaps it's not particular to this one place, but it was very definitive in this speech, which I will reveal to you after the um, answer has been shown and give you a bit more information about this one. It's something of a particular importance to me because uh, there's a bit of a history 
about it, but I'll let you know in just a moment with our last few seconds left. In any case, most people have answered, so we can see which one's the right question. Answer, pardon me. So yes, the right answer was Holland, and we did have a good fair amount picking that, and France was a good second guess. I can understand why. And if we go to the leaderboard, because, of course, both countries have been called the gates of hell. So that's one option as well. But Holland in particular could also be a holy land. And this was in the 1985 Trigunatmika slash Adibumi Devi Puja in, was it The Hague? Yes. One of the, one, the one and only puja held in the Netherlands. And it's a fascinating, beautiful speech talking about representation of our country, Mubarak, beautiful one. Uh, I suggest you view it in your own time when you have a moment. In any case, Van Moenen leading on the board, followed by R108, Gigio, hello there, and Kalipriya and Sintu. So two new people on the leaderboard. Welcome, let's see how you fare. Oh, I think I know who the other one is. Okay, let's on to question number six. Which country did Shmarchi call the end of land? Okay, so another option. So we have over here Sweden, Denmark, Finland, and Norway. So this is some kind of uh, interesting Nordic cacophony of options you have here in front of you. Shmarchi in, uh, once again, I think, I believe, one and only puja in this country. Oh, I might have given too much away. Called this land the end of lands because... Many of the problems in the, the rats or the globe find its way to this country in the end and kind of complicates itself. I can reveal to you that there's quite a few things about this country that are very near and dear to your hosts. So that probably gave you the most biggest clue you could have. Okay, let's see the answers. So that's right, ladies and gents, it seems you have done your homework. It is, yes, Finland, because by way of logic, I don't believe Shimanchi had a puja in either Sweden, Denmark, or Norway. Probably not. So Finland, there you go. We'll see the top five leaderboard. R108 leading, followed by Van Emmen in second, Gigio on his ancestry peak of four. Congratulations, followed by Sintu and HP. We're into question number seven. All right, here we go. Where in 1988 did Shmarchi visit South America to spread sun yoga? So this is the first visit to South America uh, of Shmarchi. And it's a specific country she visited in this year. A few countries followed thereafter, but it was only one in this year. And if you look at the picture, there might be a hint, because I thought this might be a fairly nebulous question. So I provided a little bit of a clue for you. So if you have sharp eagle eyes, you may be able to spot what I am on about. So in any case, it looks like most people have been peaked and are motivated to find the right answer and have answered this specific question. So there's only two more left who are probably still churning. No, just one. So we will skip and see what the right answer is. Super duper. So most of the people got Colombia. Congratulations, followed by Brazil and Argentina and Peru. Ah, yes, Shumach did go to Argentina, I believe. I'm just going to look, look, yeah. look back at my Argentinian. Yes, that's correct. She did go to Argentina. Peru, I believe not. But yes, Colombia was the first one in 88, where she visited four times. And 16 is a nice amount of answers because, of course, it represents the left of Shudi. Super. Let's see the leaderboard. So on top, we have Vainamoinen. Congratulations, our academic Finns. He's a musician, though. So followed by Sintu, Jijio, Zemuna, Love, Norway. Uh, I think we know where he or she is from. And R108 on fifth. Great work, everybody. It's great seeing that you're getting these answers nailed. So let's see the next question. Question number eight. Here we go. It's a slider question. In 1990, how many countries did Shimataji visit? So here you have a slider from 12 to 38. And you just got to slide to the point where you feel is the correct amount of countries that she visited 
in this particular year. Um, according to one journal uh, that she kept, it was quite a few. And um, of course, these years in 1990 were astoundingly busy because on the one hand, the uh, Cold War simmered down to a lukewarm war as the uh, Eastern Bloc and Russia was opened up to the rest of the world. And Shimataji paved her way also in South America as well as in two the far east asia so we have most of the answers in and let's see who was able to approximate their answers so congratulations 26 people that is a very good turnout actually for our answers super duper and actually was it only three people who got it right oops ah that's what it means ah so yes it was actually 26 countries and three people got that right. So this one was a bit more difficult question. Let's see if it changed the look of the leaderboard. So Zemina Norway on top, followed by Van Imeren, Sintu, Digio, and R108. So to put that into perspective, 28 countries in one year. Absolutely mind-boggling. Let's go into question number nine. According to Amruta.org, reference is shown, how many countries did Shimataji personally visit to spread Saj Yoga? This is based upon the countries that are mentioned, so countries that have been digitally archived online. Is this 29, 38, 47, or 55? So there is a bit of a... Uh, thinking going on here, but most people are splitting their answers, which is good. We got about 20 seconds left with most of the answers in. We'll give it a few more until we get all of them. And now we can see what the right answer is, as we have the large majority of participants who have responded so the right answer ladies and gents is 38 so these are the countries that are listed on amruta of course other accounts online sometimes inflate these numbers the true number of course perhaps is not fully known but 55 would be a great number but in actuality, of course, Saj Yoga is present in more than 55 countries. But the ones she personally visited, according to the record, 38. All right, let's see the leaderboard. So Zemuna still on top, followed by Van Emonen, Norway, <laughs> minus 8 degrees Celsius, Sintu, and Jijo. So we'll head on to the last question, which is a bit of a difficult question but also a fantastic one to put everything into context. One more slider question. According to amruta.org, how many events, which this includes pujas, programs, evening seminars, did Shmachi attend when spreading Sanj Yoga? So this is the whole spectrum. And I've given you from 1,008 events all the way up until 4,064. So anywhere in between this is the full amount of recorded events that she visited from 72 up until 2010. So here you go. This one is a particularly fascinating one as well. And it was interesting to put this into context afterwards. Because as we know, um, she traveled ceaselessly for the past 40 decades of her life, especially for the past three decades from um, 81 to 2011. So here we see, did anybody approximate the right answer? And we have, uh, drum roll. Okay, no one, but that's okay. Because, <laughs> because now we know the number is 2,614 events. So considering, considering the active years from, let's say, 80 to 2010, this accounts for nearly a quarter of all days represented from that time. This is not counting travels, preparation, and everything else. So that is an astounding amount of time 
used and dedicated to the spreading of Sanj Yoga. Okay, let's see who's holding the top three spots. So on the podium on third spot, we have, drum roll, Norway minus 18 degrees, fantastic. Followed by Van Imoen in Finland representing, great. And first we have Zamuna Hart, Norway. Zamuna, I'm not sure how to say that. But fascinatingly, we have a lot of Nordic people on the top podium. Congratulations, Norway, for taking this evening to your home. And of course, a little souvenir from Finland as well. Thank you for joining this evening's quiz, and I will see you next time. Hey! Wow. <laughs> that was a very beautiful quiz again. And uh, yeah, I'm out. I mean, if you see the numbers, it puts it really in perspective. No? Yeah. You did like statistical research, yeah? Wow. It was statistical. I mean, statistical but meaning counting on my hands and looking through a few lists. Yes, yes mm. statistical. But, but there is, in, in addition to numbers, there, there's a much larger narrative in terms of which country is corresponding to which chakra on the Ross and the significance behind that. But of course, only she knows. Only she yeah. knows and we can only think about it. But it's beautiful to see the, uh, beautiful to see how much truly, how much she dedicated of course, as a guru of such yoga for the past four decades. Yeah. yeah. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Yeah. That the last question unbelievable. was like, boom. Yeah. And, and also you, you started different techniques. Yeah. Like scrolling from left to right, mm -hmm. putting it in the line. That's, you know, we're going to the pro level. We are. Yeah. We are. We're making it a bit more, a bit more engaging, a bit more different to, you know, challenge. But uh, hopefully, hopefully you got, hopefully the people who joined got the majority of answers right. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hopefully not setting the bar too high, but as long as we're learning. Uh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. And we're learning a lot and we're having fun on the side. And uh, yeah, congrats to the winners, of course. And uh, yeah, and, who is and, that? And about, about the winners, I want to tell you the secret, which Ooh. is not secret anymore after I will tell, yeah? So in Norway, in Sahaja Yoga Collective, there are two girls. Last time, remember, there was a winner, Smilte. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. Smilte. Yeah, I guess Smilte. So, so she, we have a picture of her. First of all, let's oh, see wow. and let's congratulate. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, wow, wow, wow. This is the winner. And today, <laughs> Jemina, was also sister of Smilte. Oh, wow, really? Wow. Oh, that is nice. And, and now I want to crack the, like, magic. How they're doing that. It's it's really maximum Sahaj. So, mm -hmm. so imagine how these two yoginis, um, how, how they're working like a... Hackers, yeah, like hack the Kahoot. I will because tell you, you don't, how. You don't, you don't believe that they already have that knowledge. They have imbibed all the knowledge of Sahaj. I you know how, how they do. Because, you know, Kahoot Master always tells uh, speed is very important. Speed is very important. So, you know what they do? They don't tell this. <laughs> don't I will tell, tell this. You. No, but listen, listen. They are not waiting to think. No, they are they just, just pressing push. the color. <laughs> they just choose the color. And and because they are so so fast, much faster than everybody else, when they guess right, they get lots of points. Uh huh. So it's guessing. It's guessing, but it is you know like it's Heart like intuition. Really, so it's, really? It's, it's, so do you think that was a good thing to share? To share? Really? I, I think it's I think it's amazing. It's like a future generation. They will not think. They will point into the right color. I don't know. Anyway, congratulations to you all. And thank you again, Gabriel, for this beautiful quiz. And uh, it was very impressive again and nice. And thank you again. And we wait for next time. <laughs> Ada, don't be angry. Don't be angry. <laughs> Bye, Gabriel. Ciao, Joe. Ciao. Bye, bye. <laughs> yes, maybe divine guessing. I don't know.
so yeah you know, divine guessing it's and, amazing it's amazing i don't know and anyway anyway it's nice to have fun with the quiz and to learn and to have all this sahaj knowledge and all at the same time yeah Actually, this quiz becomes really more like 3D, like more more different questions, more different techniques, and we will improve yeah. even more. I, I'm sure that Gabriel will find more techniques. But let's let's move in our show now, mm-hmm. and we are going from Cabela because Gabriel is in Cabela. Uh, so is. from Cabela, we jump not so far to Swiss. Okay, what are we going yeah. to do there? Because what are we going to see? Yeah, recently there was a seminar in Switzerland. It was Yuva seminar. Oh, and nice. uh, it was in high peaks of mountains, like somewhere in some resort center. So it was amazing. And let's see how amazing it was. And let's go also to the Swiss. Yes, Island. that would be so nice. And then afterwards, yeah. we have the last item. And that is very special. So hmm. be there yeah. with us. And we had the talk where mother was talking about having these positive memories and that um, you should build on these positive memories because they are truly what help you grow. And truly that's what this seminar was, is just many positive spiritual memories. É popular, é natural. A vibe tá no ponto. Vem que vai que ser legal. Vem que vai que ser legal. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Vem que vai que ser legal. Uh-huh. Quero te convidar, vem somar, vem cá curtir. A vida é muito curta, quero me divertir. Vamos passar o ano todo, todo no verão. Música é cura, salva o seu coração. É só você relaxar, só balançar. Toque, 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 deixa a gente entrar. Vem no pão pararão, vem pra cá zoar. Blanc. 
so nice. <laughs> what a joy to be a Yuva in Sahaj. Again, I jealous. Why? Why? <laughs> no, why? you're all the time jealous tonight. <laughs> yeah, I miss I miss Crazy. this uh, big meeting, big fun, big jumping. Yeah, true, out. true, true, true. But you know what it is? We are now here in the north of Europe at the end of a very boring winter. <laughs> <laughs> Although you went to India actually, so you cannot complain. So, you know, we are waiting what? for again going to Cabela and have pujas. And, and then we also, you know, we are very blessed because we are very close to Italy, actually, relatively spoken, of course. So, yeah, yeah our time's coming. And, 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 uh, and yes. You know, okay, okay. If you, if you touch this topic, do you know the places, just to remind, for example, uh, Sasrara Puja is in Cabela? Yes, it is. Adi Shakti Puja? It is in the UK, in the farm. You know everything. And where is the I Easter do know Puja? that too. Easter Puja. Easter Puja. Ay, 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 ay. I don't know. Who can tell us where is Easter yes. Puja? So we are waiting in a chat who will tell where is international Easter Puja in this world this year. Yeah. That would be yeah. nice. And at the meanwhile, we will reach to our very last performance which is a very special performance. Nira, what can you tell us about it? Okay, I can tell that um, uh, in the beginning of Sahaja Yoga, it was yes, very important that that some um, real good artist would create something and that will give, you know, this cultural value of Sahaja Yoga. So, so first, of course, we spoke about Guruji, but... Uh, now we will listen Anandita's Basu mom, and mm. uh, and she actually taught Anandita also to sing, and gave this beginning and inspiration. And because we visited their house and she was there, and my wife also was fan of her because in this old yoga time she used to listen the same tape every day. And it was Anandita's Basu mom. So, so what what happened? We asked to sing, and she was so happily sitting and singing all the songs. So I I have it. I had the chance to record, and we will listen now. Uh, really classical song, bhajan. And actually, she will announce what kind of raga it is. I don't want to try to spell it, tell or something. I don't want to have mistakes in that. But later, after she sang one song, another song, then joined another people and Tabla came and actually there are recordings of some kind of nice gang, like really like a, a team of musicians joining together. So in next, next, next episodes, we will release more and more from that meeting. But now let's start from this classical bhajan written for Shumataji, dedicated for Shumataji and written by... by by composer and by vocalist, which you will see. Nice. Based by Raga Bilashkani Tori, but little bit mixer.
Wow, very special. Thank you for recording uh, her and uh, nice. It, it was a blessing to go to the real artist's home and to to feel all this. And imagine, yeah. very nice, beautiful. So after, after this kind of performance, we can maybe continue with meditation because it should mm -hmm. be some end of the of the show. Mm -hmm. So, so we have also a little bit from Shumataji's uh, birthday celebration video. So maybe before that, we can feel a little bit vibrations again on the hands. And thank, thank you, Shamadaji, for the vibrations, for all the blessings we have, for everything. And we can continue with video from Shamadaji's birthday.
का जन्म दिवस आया कितना करते थे इंतजार मेरी माँ का जन्म दिवस आया हम झूम झूम कर नाचेंगे मेरी माँ का जन्म दिवस आया हम झूम झूम कर नाचेंगे मेरी माँ का जन्म दिवस आया हम झूम झूम कर नाचेंगे मेरी माँ का जन्म दिवस आया हम झूम झूम कर बोलो आदि शक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देवी की तो आप पेश खिदमत है वो जो सौगात जिसके बारे में मैंने पहले अच्छा पहले केक कट रही है मेरे यार सबसे गुजारिश है कि जब श्री माता जी केक काटेंगे तो हैप्पी बर्थडे सब मिलके गाएंगे Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Happy birthday Shri Mata ji Happy birthday to you Happy long life to you Happy long life to you Happy long life Shri Mata ji Happy long life to you हम तेरे द्वार में आए हाथ लगा कर धोती संभाल के क्या बात है So now we are fully in the mood of Shramansi's birthday and let's keep into this mood for at least the rest of the year to have her 100th birthday in our hearts and really pray that we are her true instruments, that we fully are Shramansi's instruments and that we do our best and that we do everything to spread Sahaja Yoga as much as we can. So we can rise our Kundalini together again. Let's use the chance to be together in this moment.
Jai Shri Mataji. Jai Shri Mataji. We hope that everybody feels the same vibrations like we are feeling now. And um, yeah, actually we got message that in Australia will be hosted the Easter Puja. Did you see that? No? Yes, and of course, we, we, we knew. And so thank you for refreshing our memories. Yeah. Um, that is, uh, yeah, thank you. It is, it is in Australia, so that is very auspicious. And uh, before that, before Easter, we, we have Shumatsi's birthday, of course. And we see you again. Our next show will be the 21st of April. So we have a bit of a longer gap. But um, yeah, there is this beautiful puja in between. So lots of vibrations to, to share. Let's meet in Australia, yeah? <laughs> that would be nice. Huh? <laughs> we meet in our hearts, we meet in Australia, we meet yeah. everywhere. So Jay much see everyone and uh, see you next time. Thank you, Ada. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Gabriel. Thank you, everyone who joined. And let's meet for in the next show. Jai Shri Mataji. Jai Shri Mataji. Right.
watching. 